the Minister for Mental Health and Community Services, Mary Waldridge. Thank you for your patience and, and waiting for that, Minister. Now, it, Greg Anderson, we heard last week that Rosemary Batty, Rosie Batty, his partner, talking about his mental health issues. But the problem is he hadn't reported them himself and he hadn't sought help. Is that right? So our understanding from an early look is that he is not engaged with any mental health services across the state. And so the challenge we have is that while there's good access to mental health services through GPs, community mental health and even inpatient services, if people don't engage with it, then it's very hard to force them to receive services and health support. Well, is there anything, say for instance, in you know, hindsight is a wonderful thing to have, but is there anything that people around him, whether it be his partner or his housemates, could have done to actually report him to get mental health help? Well, what we do find is people with mental ill health um, who don't get it treated um, often come into touch with the system through such as uh, things such as the police or the courts or other family services. And that's what we don't want, isn't it? Because it's it's something's happened. So what we're ha what's happening is a quiet revolution in the way that we deliver human services. So we have a much more joined up response. So if someone touches the system through child protection or alcohol and drug treatment services or family violence services, that we look at the whole picture. We look and see if mental illness is also present uh, or undiagnosed and therefore have a mechanism to encourage and support not only them but their family to uh, assist them to get support. And that is happening now. Those changes are happening and we're driving that change. Talking man.